Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with episode 5 of my death mode playthrough. And I got the Gobbo. So, he showed up in the mineshaft, you know, right after last episode ended. So, I guess we can... Maybe get some reforging done, if I can get some decent reforges. Uh, light, no. Uh, I like my knockback. Shoddy, yeah, sure. Lazy. I'll take godly. Uh, zealous, nah. Superior would be awesome, but... I want a speed boost if I can get one. That's a speed minus. I'll take superior for now. Um, let's see. Zealous, superior... I'll take light. Light is awesome. And... Forceful. I'm just going to stick with that. I don't want to... Too many things here. But let's go ahead and we're gonna buy ourselves some rocket boots. We're gonna buy ourselves a Tinker's Workshop. And we're gonna get to town here, right? So, if nothing else, Spectre Boots. It was causing me a lot of damage during the uh, the Goblin Invasion, so I figure I might want to do something about that, right? And I added a couple more storage components and an easy way to access it down here through the goblins room. Uh, hey, Sarks. Uh, shop. What do we got here? 96 gold total. Okay. Could do another goblin battle standard if I want, but eh, I'll pass on that for now. Here, we're going to do some reforging though. Because I have a feeling I'm going to be with these for a while. Blurred's not bad. Violent. Eh. Buffeted. Sure, I'll take that. Thought I had a uh, plus one dodge power on that. No, it's everything but dodge power. Or not dodge, uh, dash. Dash power. Cloud in a bottle. There we go. That's got some dash power to it. I have a bit of a dash now. Oh, we got a slime rain. Okay. Quantum I'll keep. Warding I'll keep. Jelly charm, right? Guarding's not bad. Spectral. Wild. Blurred. Well, for recovery would not be that. I'll take buffeted, honestly. Alright. And one thing I noticed the, uh, the merchant started selling. Oh, okay. There's a lot of you guys up here. Is the uh, the crimson rod? He started selling it. It's like, okay, I'll buy one. Hey, fifty blue slimes. That is actually gonna be very handy right about now. Oh, pinky. Oh, okay. Take care of the pinky. And right now I'm still needing one diamond to make my uh, crafting interface. Alright, well, there's that then. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move to the left a little bit here. And we're going to make ourselves a campfire. Oh, another pinky. That makes like three of them I've killed now. And I've got a light pet now. So I was reading up on the wiki about uh, how to mitigate the light, you know, issues underground. And so I went back to the sunken sea and started capturing uh, the ghost spells, baby ghost spells, with a uh, with the bug net. 
and there's a rare chance, well, it's not that rare, but there's a chance you'll get a light pet instead of just the, uh, to just the baby bell. And I end up with two of them, actually. And they're just light pets, so it's like, eh, no big D. But it mainly helps with underwater from what I've noticed, right? It's like it'll help in the abyss and whatnot. Oh, we got a toy slime. What did I get? Swiftness potion? Okay, let's go ahead and get a well fed going. There's the toy slime. He's dropping bricks everywhere. Oh, it's so nice having rocket boots again. And honestly, for this fight, the sword's probably better. I just hope the uh, the king slime won't come out while he's around. I thought I had this thing on my hotbar. Okay, watch out for the uh, the broken toys. Oh no, the king slime comes out. Okay, the coin, the toy slime is dead. And, oh, and he's dangerous. He's going to do extra damage. I'm dead. I got tapped. You know, I'm basically just trapped inside of him there. And, yep. Killed everybody. Despawned. Oh, lovely. Can the slime rain end now, or am I going to start accruing another king slime kill? Looks like, uh, yeah, no, we should be okay. And ow, thank you. Well, the boss bar, or the the progress bar is not filling up, right? So I think I'm okay for now. I just have to kind of ride out the, the end of the, the slime rain. Which hopefully won't be too much longer. What I want to do is get back underground and try to find some more diamonds, honestly. I think the best bet would be to, to get like a diamond crawler. That's actually how I got most, actually all my diamonds so far was the diamond crawler, so. They do make a bit of a difference, but I would like to get a, you know, get the crafting terminal. It makes things so much easier. Okay, is this going to end any time? It's really not feeling like it. 150 blue slimes. Go ahead and get that guy out, I guess. Oh, we got a fairy. Launching flower fairy, huh? Up, oh, she's dead. I'm getting a lot of gel though, so that's, that's good news. It's starting to accrue again. Uh, 
I was kind of worried about that. Alright, let's do this. Oh, Mike and it. Okay, come on, you not know, ow. Jerk. Oh, it's a blood moon. Yeah, it's blood moon slime rain. Okay, things are getting better. That's a lot of numbers. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Flammable Colossal Demon Eye. That's a lot of numbers on screen. Oh, hi. Let's get up here where it's kind of safer. Ah, uh, no. Not really. Okay, that was a nasty surprise hanging on my roof. Oh, I had a mining potion on hand, huh? Oh, whoops. What's that? Uh, Spelunker potion, too. Okay, this is going to be my night. Get down there. So, not much I can do about it. Just going to be stuck here trying to survive a blood moon. So, I'll meet everybody uh, in the morning. So, blood moon ends. The slime rain ended in the middle of the blood moon. If it hadn't been for that blood moon, I probably would end up fighting the uh, king slime again. And as soon as the Blood Moon ends, it's like, oh, Goblin Army is approaching from the west. Or was it the east? One of the two. But it's just like, oh, lovely. Am I ever going to be able to work on my place again? I don't know. Good news is I'll have plenty of you would to, to build with, so come on, kill the guy. So we've seen this before. Uh the only downside is I didn't get a harpoon last time, so I'm gonna try again this time, see if I can maybe grab it. But uh yeah, I'll see everybody when I'm done with this. Oh, and the wind's picked up. Yay. Alright, so we're back and it's been oh a night and a day and a night. It's been a little bit of time. And I actually ran into the ghost while I had something I could trade him. So I've got enough of these contract tatters. I can actually make a contract. I'm trying to decide what to use. Okay, let's do this. Sucks the life out of enemies around you that have under a thousand life. I want to do that one. Seems like it could be kind of useful, right? So, contract. There we go. And I'm guessing that, you know, by sucks the life out. 
Okay, well, that was my minion that killed that fox, so. Let's see roughly how close they have to get here. Oh, what can I start? Oh, it's a damn eyeball. Well, he's going to keep spitting out these guys, so. Actually, I might have a chance to... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm doomed. <laughs> uh, oh, and he keeps hitting me with the terror effect, so... And I got rid of my dash. Or is it the terror or the horror? I keep getting hit by. Yep. And he came in at an angle on that one. That come down to 85% though. That's that's better than last time. Last time was 90. So I didn't even notice the message that he was he was watching. So all right, let's go try out this accessory and see. Because it did say like nearby enemies, pretty much, right? So what are we looking at for nearby enemies? Also, pumpkin. Ah, zombie. That'll work. Okay, so it's nothing overpowered, but it might make a difference. Only under a thousand hit points, so it's not going to affect any bosses until they get lower. It didn't say anything about a thousand max health. It just said a thousand health, so... And so I guess that's the thing. I'm gonna say it couldn't be that overpowered. I mean, it's a very early game accessory, so. All right. So one thing I have started doing is putting up a ceiling. I would like to be able to work on my house without lightning bolts. I think that's about the easiest way to do it. I'm just grabbing more fireflies here. So I've been using for the external lighting on this place is firefly in a jar. And I did manage to get enough diamonds that I have the uh, the crafting interface now. You know, so I made this toy robot control rod from the uh, the toy slime drops, and he's really not that great. Mm, let's see, high quality read. The band of regen probably wouldn't have been a bad thing because that would have freed up a, an inventory slot since I always have a band of regen, but I don't know. I, I got quantum on the one I have right now, so probably to keep that one. And yeah, probably nothing for right now. I do have a heavy workbench over here I could put into there. There we go. Let's go ahead and put this crafting station in as well. There we go. And moth. All right, let's go ahead and get that put away. And the shame of it is, is I got mythical on it. So, I mean, it was the best I could get, and it was, yeah, that was actually that's it. It's pretty, just, meh. So I want to see. Can I make anytime soon an anklet of the wind? What do I need here? Any cloud blocks? Or I need, I need vines. Hmm. Because that's what's keeping me from getting lightning boots right now. And the jungle's all the way over here. Three hundred and fifty zombies. Eh, I've got a decent amount of money I'm sitting on. So I'm thinking... Well, 
Yeah, which is dangerous. I should not do that. Uh, let's see. Partner jar. Cloud in a bottle. Alright. Go ahead and clear that out. Sandstorm in a bottle, right? There we go. There's a lot of recipes for that. Desert feathers, feathers, bottle, and sand. Sandy gust in a bottle. Okay. Five golden crates. Sand and a bottle, but requires an alchemy table. Sand, desert fossil, feathers, and bottles. Okay. So, yeah, it's a little ways away from being able to get that. Eh, we better shame there. But honestly, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Uh, let's bring up our boss list, though. So, Scarabius. I need a Scarab Idol. Uh, let's see. Is... What do you need? You want a Demon Altar. But a Sapphire and Mandible. Okay. I, I can do that. Sapphire and... Some Mandibles. And then, can I make a Grand Flare Gun? Uh, wrong one. I need this one. Uh, no. What am I missing for Storm Players? Oh, uh, Arcane Dust. That shouldn't be a problem. And actually, that'll free up a lot of... Or, not free up, but it'll unlock a lot of recipes. So... Flare. Grand Flare Gun. And a Storm Flare. Uh, let's go ahead and get two of those. Scarabius is kind of like an early game summoner boss. Yeah, you fight him for some okay or summoner equipment. And there's a couple other things you know you can use, but for the most part, it's not all that great compared to vanilla equipment. So let's go ahead and start tearing this thing out. If nothing else, it's a bunch of cactus. And I want to get these spikes out of here too, so... Easiest way to do that is actually be from inside of here. These are just regular metal dungeon spikes, painted brown, I believe. Either brown or orange. Can't remember exactly which one it is. All right, and yeah, I should be able to take care of these things. All right, cool. And. Kind of level this out a little bit. Won't hurt matters, eh? Um, why? Why are you showing that boss bar? All right. And let's go ahead and we'll flatten this a little bit here off. Wing Clipper, Tough, Antlion Swarmer. Righto. So, is that a Demon Altar? That is. Well, it's Crimson Altar. And Desert Feathers, which is always good. But let's go ahead and pop off one of these. And, actually, I probably should have done this beforehand. Okay. 
can. Pop that up there. I am getting a little low on snowballs, but... It's a Mage Bane one, too. It actually pulls uh, health from enemies from a pretty good range. Okay, cool. He's dead. Oh, I got the trophy even. Nice. So, what I get? Harvester parts. Zephyr's feather. Allows you to ascend and glide with the help of a Grand Thunderbird uh, hatchling. Hold the mouse button down to channel your hatchling. And use the jump button to ascend. Okay. So, that. Didgeridoo. Sandstone ingots, and I got the Thunderbird trophy. And let's bring it forth again. Come on, dude. Get back here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Just what I never wanted. Do 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 Whoop. And he's down. And this time I got more of the same. Exactly the same. But more of these sandstone ingots. So wear that out, I can get a sandstone scimitar. There's a hammer, axe, pickaxe. A bow, spear, throwing knives, and then armor. Throwing armor. Throwing class armor. Come on. Go away. Thank you. So, not really particularly worth it. Hmm. But that boss is down, at least. Let's go to that demon altar here. Oop. So, yeah. Right here. And, yep. So I was kind of hoping for is that there'd be a pocket right around here I could use to easily gain access to this thing. And let's go ahead and make ourselves a Scarab Idol. Alright, and... Hup. Oh, perfect. Just kind of punch through here and all good. All right, so Scarabius time, huh? I'm down to 84 shots with this thing. Okay, moving my drilling bar. Okay, horrible things have happened. Oh, yeah, those stupid white shots. Homing, you know, the, the homing white things. I almost said tears, and it's like, yeah, this is not binding of Isaac, you know? There he is. Okay, out of ammo. doing a pretty decent amount of damage to this guy, too. 
it looks like the the health actually chases me quite a while. Okay, it does eventually run out of a uh, run out of steam. All right, and done. Never truly finished until we splat the wall from slime. So. All right, and how much inventory space I got? Not enough to open the box or the bag up. I'm wondering. If I go through now and with the spikes I do have. You and you. And pain mine. Get off me, you little slime bastard. Alright, cool. That makes it so much easier. And... So I'll come back once I've got this thing completely eradicated, and then we'll uh, go through the treasure bag for Scarabius. Alright, so we're back at base. The cactus is gone. Hey, I got the mask. Got some chitin. Got a bow. And I got the Scarab Charm. Uh, it increases minion damage by 8% and max number of minions by 1. Eh, not bad. I mean, it's pretty good for a summoner, honestly. And then the chitin. Chitin armor. Pretty decent summoner armor. Book of the Tormented. Okay, hard mode. Axe, hammer, pickaxe, spear. So, that can go away for now. And, so one thing I do want to make is some sandstone bricks. Uh, say like 20 of them. And then there's, it's what, staff? Yeah, the, the Sun Spirit Staff. And that's going to replace... There we go. Or it helps if I click on the right one. My Space Fighter. Okay, uh, yeah, you need to go away. There we go. And it's just basically a laser turret that rides over my head. And there's a fairy in the, uh, in the water. And Wing Titan can go away. And I'm still getting that damn bar showing up. But let's see. I think there's not really a whole lot I can do right now. Uh, maybe look into Potions of Warmth. That would be a thing to do. That way I can explore the... Uh... Oh, I can make them even. Cool. I can make one. I need Frost Shines. Alright, cool. But uh, that way I can explore the ice biome without dying. <laughs> dying horribly. At random times. As soon as the blizzard starts, it's like, oh, you're dead. But let's go ahead and look at this thing. Rumia. Using meat of questionable origin at nighttime. Summons Rumia, Yokai of the Dusk. Okay. It is after Desert Scourge. Eternity Larva was actually after Rumia, but I took care of her. But Aya Cthulhu is actually down here below Giant Clam. So probably. Actually, Desert Scourge would probably be the best bet to go for. And I think we'll take care of that, but next episode. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying this series, and until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.